If you're a Lobo fan, you have something to smile about no matter how your NFL team played today. Yeah, of course, that's because the Lobos won the Rio Grande rivalry game down in Las Cruces to nab their first victory of the season. And in a state without any NFL team, let's face it, the Lobos and the Aggies, they're pretty much as big as it gets. But neither are really known for great football right now. And the Lobos are kind of starting yet another rebuild with a new head coach. We teamed up with Survey USA for our own poll to see where you think UNM is headed. So let's look at our first question. What is your impression of the Lobo football program? 15% say this will be a great season. 29% the Lobos are headed in the right direction but have a way to go. 6% say the team is going in the wrong direction but could be turned around. 12% have no hope. They say the team's terrible. But look at that, the largest percentage, 38%, they're just not sure. So there's still time for our Lobos to really make an impression on the community. And Tessa, of course, UNM might not be known for football, but it definitely has quite the legacy in basketball. The Pit, for instance, was just ranked as one of the top venues anywhere in the nation. Some have wondered why not just drop the football program to focus much more on basketball. Well, we posed that question as well. and. Here's how you responded. Only 11% said that's a good idea. 34% say it's worth considering, but a little more than half said it's a bad idea and we just need to keep the football team. And now really comes the real Rio Grande rivalry. Who do New Mexicans think has the most promising football program right now? UNM or NMSU? And sorry, Lobos, the Aggies barely have the edge on this one. 16% say UNM has the most promise. 17% say NMSU has the most promise, 26% say both, 8% say neither, and then here we are again, 31%, the most out of the polling say they're just not sure. And regardless of that poll, and remember it was done before this weekend, at least for this year, the Lobos do have the bragging rights in the rivalry. They beat the Aggies in a real offensive shootout 50 to 40 down in Las Cruces on the Aggies home turf. Whatever happens this season, the future for both the Lobos and the Aggies is really up in the air after a wild week of conference realignment. So to bring you up to speed, the Pac-12 raided the Mountain West for schools, but ultimately came up short for the eight it needs for the NCAA minimums. The Mountain West stopped the bleeding, but it's also short the eight schools necessary. Both conferences, though, are running out of options. Numerous schools have already turned down the Pac-12, and there are some reports the Mountain West is looking pretty far all the way like to the Midwest to add new members at this point. So who do we need to ask about all this? Lee Faria. Uh, Lee, we know so both conferences need to expand. NMSU has popped up many, many times on a few lists, mostly because of the geographic location, but that's not the only criteria that really goes into conference realignment. Well, for the Mountain West right now, I think they're just looking to, you know, pretty much add teams that they feel are similar in their ideals of what football and basketball can be. Mm -hmm. My first option would be UTEP. The facilities down there are great. Uh, you got a great football stadium. You got the Haskins Center for basketball. Um, now their football program is not where it needs to be, but their basketball program is pretty solid. Mm -hmm. That would be my first choice to get to eight teams in the Mountain West. Um, the Aggies are in the same market, so it, it would be it would be easy to add them mm -hmm. because they're in the same TV market, and you know so you could add them. All of a sudden, you got nine teams, ten teams with Hawaii playing football. So you're back to kind of almost where you were before the departure of those five schools. Yeah. When it comes to New Mexico State, though, what makes it a little more difficult is that $800,000 buyout to get out of Conference USA. Somebody, they might come in, they might swoop in, and they might pay that for them. But why would either the Pac-12 or the Mountain West want New Mexico State in the first place? Well, the bottom line is that uh, they would be a secondary choice mm -hmm. to Texas El Paso. Mm -hmm. They just would be. Um, but uh, you're not going to get the Mountain West to pay your buyout. That's not going to happen. Um, the, in the Pac-12, they've got some ideal that they're, they're going to be a Power 5 conference. Yeah. That's not happening. Basically what those teams did was 
they moved from one mid-major to another mid-major and the bottom line with basketball is they weren't a mid-major last year. Mm -hmm. They're one of the top conferences mm -hmm. in the country as far as basketball goes. Sent six teams yeah. to the NCAA tournament. So basically the Pac-12 is in a world of hurt. The Mountain West is in a much better position because you need one team yeah. to be uh, the playoff football eligible when UNLV, look at them. They're, they're just knocking the snot out of everybody. So the bottom line is the Pac-12 is in trouble because they've made the offer to all these teams and all those teams went, see ya, yeah. uh, we're not interested. So they're really scrambling right now to find somebody who fits their ideal of football first and everything else second. Mm -hmm. Where the Mountain West understands that perhaps we have a football conference, but you gotta play football to actually be eligible for the Mountain West Conference. So that's necessary, but I think it's a basketball conference more, more than a football conference. Yeah, we've definitely seen that. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that long ago that NMSU was out of the Sun Belt, independent in football, looking for a conference, now maybe looking for another conference. Right, yeah, right. Lee, thank you so much. Okay. Well, here's a look at the current Mountain West. The Lobos agreed earlier this week that they're just going to stay put. They signed a grant of rights through 2032, and that means it'll be even more expensive for the Lobos to move anywhere else. Meanwhile, there's already some pretty bad blood brewing between the Mountain West and the Pac-12. The Mountain West has been hitting the Pac-12 with so-called poaching fees for raiding its membership. The Pac-12, though, is suing to have those fees removed. In a statement earlier this week, Mountain West Commissioner Gloria Nevada said there need to be, quote, consequences for the Pac-12.